This is going to be a very, very basic introduction to CATIA version 5, release 17. It can be applied to version 16 as far as I know. You may have some luck with some older versions. I believe version 17 is the newest one. So we are going to create a small part and we are going to go to start menu. We are not going to use the shortcut so that you can find out where the icons are at. You go to mechanical design and you choose part design. This is the tree that will have all attributes of the parts that you create. These are the planes, you will work with them a lot. And this is the compass. And here on the right side are icons that will allow you to perform many functions in CATIA. Okay, we are going to start by using the pl plan view or the, the plane that's in the plan view, which is from the top. Once I select it, I'm going to go to the icons and look for the sketch icon, which is this one right here. And I will select it. And now I have a grid I can work with. Now, there's zooming available, panning, and rotating. To zoom in, you middle click the uh, click the middle mouse button once and you drag oops and you hold it and left click the left mouse button and move it down or up to zoom in okay to rotate you do the same you middle click and left click and and hold the left click button this time then you can rotate okay to go back to the plan view we go down here and select the normal view icon here we are back to square one okay I'm gonna choose the square and I'm gonna start somewhere here okay oh okay I got a little square but I wanna extrude it well how do I do it I wanna give it some height so I will exit the sketcher okay and now I can use the pad command okay so now I get some height here and I can choose the dimension and I'm gonna make it about oh let's say 50 millimeters and I'm gonna preview it yeah, that looks about right what I want. It's about the right height. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, I can look at the part and I can tumble it. Now, here's the trick to tumbling in CATIA. Now, I showed you the middle mouse button and then quick click and release on the left one to zoom in and out. And middle click and hold the left mouse button to tumble. Now, if you have bigger parts or large assemblies, as you may do later on, you will wonder why is everything flying all over the screen. Well, that's because you have no point of interest on the part. And to get a point of interest, you click with the middle mouse button on the part or component that you wish to become point of interest. I'm going to middle mouse click on the little point here under the cursor. And now that becomes the point of interest. Notice how the part rotates around that place. Okay, now if I want the top of the part to become the point of interest, I simply point to it, middle, middle mouse click, and uh, that becomes the point of interest. I do apologize for my accent. I, I can't really do anything about it. Uh, hopefully you will be able to understand me enough to do the tutorials. So we have a little cube here and uh, let's say we want to cut a notch in it. Well, let's say we do it from the side. So we will select the side and it will be our plane. Okay, and then we go to Sketcher. And now that side, that side is the one we can draw on. Okay, so I'm going to go and bring those points.